I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The Last Day and the Lesson of the Fig Tree. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Hey, if you love our videos, if you are learning about your Christian faith in places you never expected to learn about your faith from, a Missouri Synod Lutheran pastor and... is Jack Russell Terrier named Thor. Go ahead and like and subscribe today. You can also go to support.higherthings.org and give today. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization, all about passing the faith to the next generation. Pass the faith to the next generation. It keeps us... a rolling. I hope you saw that. So, uh, traditional gospel for the second Sunday in Advent is Luke 21, 25 and following. There will be sign in the moon and the stars and the earth, the distress of nations in perplexity because of the roaring of the waves and the seas, people fainting with fear and foreboding of what's is coming in the world. That sounds like today, doesn't it? For the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with great power and glory. That's Daniel 7. And when, and when these things begin to take place, straighten up and raise your heads because your redemption is drawing near. And he told them a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. When they come out and leaf, you see for yourselves and know that summer is near. So also when you see these things taking place, you know the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God is near. I say that this generation will not take place, uh, will not pass away until this has taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Here ends our text. Um, the, the, the lesson of the fig tree when it pertains to the last day is pretty simple. When you see, hey, buddy, you want this? Oh, you want this, buddy? When you see the trees come in bloom, when you see the green on the trees, when the temperature rises, you know that summer is near. When you see the things that we talked about, distress in the nations, uh, roaring seas, people fainting from fear about what's coming in the world, the heavenly powers themselves shaken. When you see those things happen, you know your redemption is drawing near. You know the kingdom of God is near. So um, the things which take place, which hint toward a greater reality. Good catch, buddy. Um, all of those things are just birth pains that signal the end. The last day is not a scary thing for you because the last day is redemption day. When things get worse and they can't get any worse and they get bad and they can't get any more bad and they get evil and they can't get any more evil and you look up in the sky and it feels like the sky is falling when everything else goes to pot, look up. Your redemption draws near. Your Jesus draws near. We've talked about the last day in terms of of. When you separate the last day from Jesus' return, when the last day for you is just destruction and bad stuff, then um, that is something to be feared. When the last day for you is about Jesus coming back to save you, well, then look up and your redemption draws near. See, it, it really is the last day and fear of the last day really depends upon where your salvation is. If it's located in yourself, well, then it's only as sure as you can be. And that's not very sure at all. But if it's located in Jesus, then his return signals his rescue of you. His return signals his redemption of you. We talked about this in a video the last couple of weeks. When he comes in the clouds of heaven, when he rescues you, that is your arm, that's the army rescuing you. That's the police coming and saving you. That's, 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 um, the doctor showing up when you're sick. It's, it's, it's all of those things. And it, and it tells you that you don't need to fear the last day in Jesus. Outside of Jesus, nothing nothing but fear. But in Jesus, in the suffering and death of Jesus, you can find peace and rescue. And think of the last day as redemption day. Redemption, which it was achieved for you on the cross. Redemption that is delivered to you in the gifts when God comes to you in his word, water, and his body and blood. And redemption, which rescues you from all your enemies. 
the devil, the world, and your sinful flesh. So think of the last day when it ter- when com- in terms of Jesus, and you'll have nothing but comfort. Think of the last day in terms of yourself and how you're going to survive it or when it is or whether or not you've got enough stuff done, uh, then not very certain at all. And not very Adventy. Advent is about comfort in the Lord's return. It's about preparing for the Lord to return and taking comfort in his return. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.